la di da what is up everybody? It is your host, Lito Mamba, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing another unboxing slash review, and today I have with me the Fifine K8 Dynamic Microphone. You guys, check it out. This is just a little microphone that I wanted to review to find another medium for those who are wanting to start up YouTube, entertainment, music, or whatever someone else may need a microphone for. So let's open this puppy up and get right into it. All right guys, so in this video, I'll be doing five different tests. One is gonna be a raw audio test at 75 gain level, then the same audio file, but with my normal YouTube processing, a background noise test, a comparison test between plugging it straight into the computer and then through a preamp, and last but not least, a microphone comparison test. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox this thing. There we go, as you guys can see, it's just a plain simple box. It came with its you know usual oversized Amazon package. You guys can check that all out right there. And we're gonna go ahead and open this front flap. Pretty easy. Here's some uh, interesting, you know, it's something by Fine Fine itself. As you guys check that out, it's to let, uh, it's kind of to give thanks to its consumers, I guess. Let me go ahead and read that to you. Uh, Dear all, thank you for choosing Fine Fine. In order to upgrade a service, please spend a few minutes in watching our video of guidance at www.fivefine.cc. Promotion will be found on it. Also, your support and suggestions make it to make it help. Wait, what? Suggestions help to make a better Five Fine service. We look forward to receiving your feedback on our website. Best regards, the Five Fine team. All right, guys. So another thing that also came in this box was a little user manual, as you guys can see here. We have our our cable that comes with it. Our microphone it shows us how to plug it and how to use it. And also, it has uh, some decibel readings. I don't know. I don't know much about these, but if you guys want to know, uh, the decibel starts at 60 and uh <laughs> it starts at 60 and it goes to uh 0.3 mvpa whatever that is and like i said guys this is a dynamic microphone i don't know if you'll be able to read that from there but um it's a unidirection i thought it was a uh, cardioid that's pretty cool so on to the inside of the package we can go ahead and get rid of this box we don't need that anymore we have a very large carrying pouch it says you know it's got some branding on the front it's kind of a, a soft material pretty nice go ahead and open that up there we go As you guys can see first here we have our 19 foot long uh six point i believe 6.35 or for others a quarter inch there we go audio jack to our xlr so it's going to go into the microphone into your you know your amp or if you have a uh, preamp this can plug into your preamp as well you guys can check that out again it's fifth or it's 19 feet it's pretty long this is also meant i should have mentioned this before but this is really meant for staging uh karaoke nights or if you're at a school and you know you, you want to give like a, a a speech or something like that that's what that's meant for um next what we have is the actual microphone itself you guys can check that out there you go that's a pretty solidly built microphone i mean it's it looks nice uh what we have here is a metal mesh screen this is going to help with preventing pops and hisses also it prevents wind noise and you can actually take this off if you guys want to check it out just like this sorry this might take a little bit of time there you go and there's the diaphragm right there that's one part of this microphone that i really like is that it has a very large diaphragm according to their amazon webpage. so we're gonna go ahead and set that to the side for one quick second Inside the foam or the metal windscreen or the metal mesh screen, we have a foam windscreen. Let me uh, forget how to fix that. There we go. So we have the foam one that goes inside the metal one, which is like double double layers, which is pretty nice. You go go ahead and stick that back onto the unit itself, just like that. Now, if you guys take a look at the bottom, we have our XLR output right there, and above that we have an on/off switch. And uh, one thing I like about this is that different to my mic. Uh, the on-off switch is about here, so especially when it's in a shock mount like it is right now, accessing this on-off switch can be pretty difficult if it's ever necessary. But in my case, I never turn it off because I always forget to turn it back on. So at all times, the switch is on. But that's still a very nice feature. One other thing that was included with the uh, the set is this foam windscreen. Pretty pretty low quality by what it looks like, but this mic was fairly priced for all that comes with it. This is a pretty good quality mic. Pretty good, you know, you got the cable and you get a foam screen on top of it. So it's actually really nice. It's a good plus. I had to spend an extra $3 for this foam screen for my current mic. All right guys, so my first thoughts when I see this mic, it looks like it's gonna, it's pretty robust. 
Uh, it's, you know, everything kind of loosens up around it. Like this part, I think, loosens up a little bit. Yeah. I don't know what the point of this is. Maybe it's to screw it onto a, a stand or something like that. But it's pretty cool. Um, and it's all metal. So something else that's going to, you can keep in mind for, I guess, reassure yourself that's not going to break when you first drop it. And again, this top part comes off. And I, I think this part unscrews, but I don't know what for. Let me uh, see if that comes off. Okay, no, that doesn't come off. Maybe that's to access the diaphragm or something like that. Go ahead and screw this all back on. There we go. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set this all up for a, a test run, and now I'm going to take you guys with it so you can see how I do this. And then we're going to do all the, uh, the five tests, and let's get to it. Alrighty guys, this is what the 5.5K8 dynamic microphone sounds like. As you guys can see here on the screen, it's uh, got some pretty low uh, audio levels, but that's because I have my recording set to very low, but the focus rights recording is actually pretty high. Um, with this microphone, i got to say that it sounds pretty okay for $27. Uh, again, it's not meant for vocals, unless you're, you know, you're doing stages or karaoke's or anything like that, but for YouTube, it's a good starter microphone. So guys, we're going to jump right into the very first of the five tests. This is the Five Fine K8 Dynamic Microphone. This is a test. This is a test. One, two, three. This is the Five Fine K8 Dynamic Microphone. This is a test. This is a test. One, two, three. Alright guys, so this is the background audio test. For this test, I will have a fan running on the ceiling, and I will slowly open and close the door. Alright guys, so before this video ends, I'm going to give my personal thoughts, which will be after this, and I'm going to give some other details about the microphone. So the 5.5 K has a very firm build quality. The all-metal construction will ensure that your mic will last for a very long time. Uh, the box does come with an XLR to a quarter inch cable that is in total 19 feet long, as I said at the beginning of this video. Uh, this mic is mainly used for uh, speakers and amplifiers, as testing probably shows. Uh, the mic itself is configured with a cardioid pattern. It makes it easy to use for vocals because any noise behind it will not be picked up at all. On the side of the mic, towards the bottom, again, we have the on-off switch. And the metal mesh of the capsule has its own foam windscreen, which is, again, is a very nice touch with an exterior foam screen also, which is also really good. And uh, to go on to my personal thoughts, it's a shame that it doesn't seem to work with Phantom Power, if you guys notice that. It gives it a sort of radio noise feel, or a radio noise sound. Unfortunately, I do not have an amp to test this on. I also did try to use the quarter inch input on my Focusrite, but that didn't work as well. If you're fine with a kind of radio sound, I guess if you have a Focusrite, that is, uh, a Focusrite would be just fine. It sounds really good. For $27, you can't go wrong with this microphone. I mean, it would be nice if the microphone had also a USB ability, but it's not made, it's not really made for computers. It's really made to plug into an on-stage mic and to sing some tunes with some friends, or if you're at an audit, like, an, you know, you're at a play and you need to talk to the audience or something like that. It's not really made for YouTubers or people with at-home music or anything like that. But it would be a nice touch. So if I find if you ever see this, which I doubt it, but if you guys do try to get it up there to let people know, it would be nice to have either the USB and the XLR. Um, again, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it, if you guys want to check it out, I'll leave a link down in the description below for Amazon. It's again, guys, it's a really good mic. If you got 27 bucks and your XLR broke and you're fine with buzzy audio for a while, this would be good. It would actually work very well with podcasts because XLR to XLR, you don't need amazing sound quality for a podcast. It'd just be nice to have if you're talking with a couple friends or it could be your secondary mic 
say if you have a friend with you and you're you guys are talking and you want him to have a mic and you want to have your own mic and you can use that this k8 um as a secondary mic so that they can hear you so they can hear your friend and you at the same time um another thing i would like to add is that it's, it's a very it's a very interesting piece i really do like it's sturdy it's built well and it has a very large diaphragm i could even hear it through the the radio kind of noise um the sensitivities in my voice it really sounded good uh but again it has that buzz when used with certain xlr or like with my focus right it worked fine except it had the radio noise um with my newer it had a little bit of a buzz and when it was plugged straight into the pc it just buzzed like crazy which kind of sucks but anyways guys that's all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing slash review. If you did, let me know with a thumbs up or a comment down below. If you're new and you haven't yet, please consider getting subscribed to the channel for more awesome unboxings and gameplay videos. And uh, share this video as you guys see fit. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Luther Mamba, out.